everyone in the game could only wait for him where they were. Turned out everyone here was Robert's colleagues. He stole items used by them which contained their DNA, then copied them all into his own game. He was usually teased by everyone in the company and to the virtual world. He could dominate. With just one shot Robert knocked down his archenemy colleague to the ground. Valdak asked Robert to take his life. But how could Robert destroy his toy so easily? He put Valdak in jail, waiting to torture him another day. Other colleagues all celebrated this victory with forced smiles. Robert wanted to kiss Nanette on a whim. As a result, she gave him a slap. Since she just came to this world, Robert chose to forgive her once. Then he quit the game. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. They told Nanette. Robert has trapped them here for three years. At first everyone was as resistant as she was. But all they got in exchange was inhumane torture, so they had no choice but to obey whatever Robert said. Nanette couldn't accept being trapped in this place for the rest of her life. She decided to find a way to escape. As a senior programmer in the company, Nanette began to crack Robert's virtual world. After five hours of hard work, she found a bug in the game. They could write a 140-character message when inviting other players to the game.